This is the plus pedal by Game Changer Audio, and it's literally a game changer. After you play a note, you press this pedal down, and the note is sustained. It's kind of like the sustain pedal on a piano, except unlike a piano, you have to press it after the note is played, not before. This is the foot switch for the plus pedal, which turns on the wet signal, which is just the sustained note. When you press the pedal down after you play a note, it will be sustained smoothly, but if you press the pedal down at the moment when you're striking a note or playing a note, it has this kind of like stutter effect, which I think is really amazing. Um, so it's fun to play around with both. The foot switch has an output for the dry signal, which I'll be running through Avalanche Run, and the sustained harp notes will be run through Skylar Reverb. The dry out is really useful in a studio setting because you can have your dry and your wet signal on two separate tracks. That means you don't have to have a perfect setting dialed in right from the get-go and you can mix them later. My favorite thing about the plus pedal is the effects loop. So when you plug an effects pedal into the effects loop, it's applied only to the note that's sustained. I'll be using the Thorpe FX Deep Ogden chorus pedal in the effects loop and I'll be using the JHS reverb pedal, which will be applied to both the sustain note and the dry harp signal. <laughs>
Now I'll be using Chase Bliss Audio's Mood in the effects loop, and I'll be using the Delta II harmonic tremolo, which will be applied to both the sustain note and the dry harp signal. I'll be using the JHS Bonsai to clip the wet signal and give it some more texture. Mm -hmm. 